We give you all the glory for this is another day that you have given to your children. Almighty Lord, we give you all the glory. With you, all things are possible. We thank you for giving us another day. It is by your power, it is by your might, it is by your authority. All things are naked before you. So this is the day that you have made and we will rejoice. Beloved, this is the hour. I welcome each and everyone, especially Prophet Kenehu listeners that listen to Prophet every time. May God bless you. May God protect you in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. We thank the Lord. Father, this is a vessel you can use to glorify yourself. Holy Spirit, speak through me in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I'm nothing but a clay, so with you, all things are possible. I give you all the honor. I give you all the praise. Forever, O oh Lord, your word is settled. In Jesus' name I pray, amen and amen. Hallelujah. This is another wonderful day the Lord has made. So without wasting time, I'm going to sing a song to glorify the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Abba, Abba, thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Thank you, Spirit. Holy Spirit, thank you, Spirit. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you, Spirit. We give God the glory. We give God the honor. He alone is worthy. That's what we can see today. We thank you. Unto thee, O Lord, your word is settled. Amen. Beloved, this is the day the Lord has made. And this morning, our topic is the fruit of the Spirit. Beloved, Holy Spirit have nine gifts. The first one, we can find it, 1 Corinthians 12, and the verse starting from seven. But today, we are going to see the fruit of the Spirit, which is nine. The first one is love. Without love, God is love. The second one is joy. In God, there is a joy. And the third one is peace. When you have the inner peace, you have the strength of the Lord. The next one, is long suffering. Beloved, that means you wait upon the Lord. And the next one is kindness. Are you kind to someone? And the next one is goodness. 
you have to be good unto your neighbor. And the next one is gentleness, which we can see the spirit of God is so gentle. And the last one is self-control. Can you control yourself? Do you get angry easily? So this is what the fruit of the spirit. Let us know. And as a child of God, this nine gift has to be in you. Hallelujah. We will start with the first one. When we say love, beloved, let's go to the scripture, which is 1 John and the verse is 14. And let us read 1 John 4 and the verse is rather 16. We have to know and believe in the love that is God has for us. God is love. And he who abide in love abide in God. God in us. It is good to know Christ is love. To love him with your heart, soul, mind, and the, and the strength. This is the first commandment that our Lord Jesus Christ let us know in Mark, and the verse is 12, 31 and 32. Beloved, we have to love ourselves. We have to love God not ourselves, rather, and love our neighbor, which is the second commandment. Love suffer long. In love of God, there is kindness, no envy, no pop off. And the love of God, there is no selfish. Love is easy. Love, you can achieve love for our Lord Jesus Christ by accepting him. Love is not easy to provoke. You will have self-control. You will have patience. So love, there is no envy. In love, a work in God. Love God. So God is love. And the second one is the joy of the Lord which is our strength. When we love the Lord, we have the strength. The Holy Spirit gives us the strength to come before him. So we need the strength to serve our maker. We need the strength of our Lord. So joy is to do the work of God in faithfulness. Joy of the Lord it's a commitment. Are you committed to serve the Lord, to work for the Lord, to avail yourself so that the Holy Spirit can use you? So joy is to serve the Lord in faithfulness. Shall we read in Matthew 14, Matthew 13, and the verse is 30, 44. Shall we read Matthew 13, 44? And this is the word that God wants us to know. And I read Matthew 13, 44. Again, the kingdom is like a treasure hidden in a field which a man found and hide, and for the joy over it, he goes, he goes and sell all that he had to buy the field. Hallelujah. Beloved, 
This is the joy of the Lord. So we need the joy, the joy of the Lord, which is to serve him, faithful, sincere. So the joy of the Lord. Do we have the joy? Are we eager to serve him in a faithful way? And the next one is peace, peace in the Lord. It's to focus only on him, the mighty one, the one who controls our lives. Look at today, we are still alive. Who has done this? It is by him. So the peace of the Lord is to focus him in everything, in good times or bad time. You have to praise him when you are in a bad time. It's to focus him and depend upon him. The hearts will be peace with our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. He is our Lord. He is our Savior. He is who control our lives. So we need the inner peace so that the heart will be in peace. He is the peace of the Lord. He is the peace of peace, the prince of peace. So beloved, let us possess this inner peace by serving our Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. The next one is uh, Ephesians 4. And beloved, let's see what the Lord is telling us for long suffering on Ephesians 4 and the verse is 2. And I read, with long suffering and gentleness, with loneliness and gentleness, with long suffering, bearing with one another in love. Beloved, we have to bear one another in love. Do you witness to your neighbor? Are your household, everybody serving the Lord? Long suffering. Long suffering is bearing one another in sign, in love, in prayer. Do we do this? Long suffering is patient in everything. Long suffering is waiting upon the Lord. Beloved, if you wait upon the Lord, like if you want to travel to a foreign land, you have to ask the Holy Spirit, is that the right time for me to go? Will I make it? You have to wait upon the Lord for long suffering. Our Lord Jesus Christ, we know you and I, we were sinners, but he paid the price for us. What a mighty king. What a mighty Lord. Patient is something we need. When you are waiting for the Lord, it is long suffering. By waiting upon the Lord so that you have patience. Endure what is so hard for someone. When you have patience, you can make it. So beloved, we have to know the long suffering is part of the fruit of the spirit. That we wait upon on the Lord to seek his face and he knows everything. Long suffering must be the word of comfort. Hallelujah. We give God the glory. The love in Christ should be in our hearts because look at how we accept Christ. In the beginning, we are eager, but along the line, we become cold, even to come and pray. It's so hard. Prayer meeting, you don't, ask, you don't show up. All this is not the way how you started with the Lord. Beloved, the next one is the strength. 
It's a commitment, his work to help the work of God in financial aspect of God's work. Do you help God's work by donating, by giving your time, by committing your time? Oh, this is the day the Lord is telling us that we have to love him with our hearts, with our soul, with our mind, and with our strength. Hallelujah. I just want to sing a song to glorify the almighty God. Oh, my. See, God. Almighty God. Oh, my. See, God. All nations shall praise your name. All nations shall praise shall praise your name. All nations shall praise your name. All nations shall praise your name. Oh, nya kopon. Oh, nya kopon. Oh, nya Amen in a bay, why you? Amen in a beda, beda was you. Amen in a bay, why Amen in a beda, ah, was you. Indeed, he out. He is our God, the master of all, the champion of a champion, the king. His name is forever and forever. So this is the day that the spirit of God is asking us. The fruit, we can continue the next time and bring the kindness, the goodness, the faithfulness, the gentleness and self-control. So this is the day the Spirit of God is asking us. As the children of the Most High God, do we bear the fruit of the Spirit? Beloved, it has to be in us so that we will know that God, the Almighty Jehovah, these are the things that has to be as the children of the Most High God. So we thank him for letting us know that this night characteristic, we need it to serve him. We give him all the glory. We give him all the honor. Holy Spirit, help us to achieve this night gift which you have. It is so good to serve the Lord. It is so good to honor him. So beloved, love is so important. Love one another. Pray for one another. Love your neighbor. Let us witness the word of God, the gospel, to those who are not in the field. So that sooner and very soon, the creator of the land, the master of all, is coming soon. And when we have this nine characteristic, we will not be ashamed. We give God the glory. We give God the honor for a moment like this. Let us assess ourselves and see this nine characteristic if we have it. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Son. Thank you, Holy Spirit. And I want to thank the listeners of Prophet Kenew who are listening to this message this moment. May God Almighty have mercy over the listeners to know the fruit of the Spirit so that they can acquire. It is the Holy Spirit, the teacher, the comforter, the guide, who can give us this. Without him, we cannot make it. Beloved, I thank each and every one. And also, 
I thank the prophet that what God is using him for is to win souls for the kingdom of God. May God bless prophet and his family. And beloved, before I leave, the Zoom prayer line is going on. Beloved, come so that we can pray together to our Lord Jesus Christ and our burdens, he will take care of it. We thank the Lord. We give him all the glory. We give him all the honor. Unto thee, O Lord, let your word be established in us. In Jesus' name, I pray with thanksgiving. Amen.